Hey everybody, Neil Thompson from Teach the Geek here. For those of you all that get nervous before you give a presentation, how do you deal with it? Well, I have three ways that you could possibly deal with nervousness before a presentation, and here they are. Well, before I reveal them, I just want to say that I have a podcast and a YouTube channel, and obviously you're here on the YouTube channel, and I've, I've interviewed quite a number of technical professionals about their public speaking journeys. And one of the questions I often ask them is, do they get nervous before they give a presentation? And if so, how do they deal with their nerves? I've gotten quite a number of, of responses since I started asking that question. And I'd like to reveal three of them from three of the guests that I had. So the first one is from a woman named Lindsay O'Leary. She works for the American Society of, Tech, of Civil Engineers. I think, what it's, I think it's what it's, that's what it's called, ASCE for short. And what she does is she goes into the bathroom. <laughs> and it's not to actually use the facility, so there's no number one, no number two, but she'll go into a bathroom stall, sit there, and collect her thoughts. And the reason she goes into a bathroom stall is because it's typically quiet in there, unless someone else is in there doing a number one or two. <laughs> or I think women sometimes go into the women's room to gossip. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about that. But what she does is, as I said, she goes into a, a, a stall, sits down, and just collects her thoughts, gets really quiet. And she does that before she actually gets out in, in front of the other people. She likes getting away from other people. And, and where else where else better to do that than in the bathroom stall if there's no one in there? So that's number one. And you can check out that episode. That's episode 207 if you want to check it out. The next one is from Barkley Brown. This is episode 132. So this is quite a while ago. I mean, I've done over 240 episodes at this point. And what he does is he grips onto something. And this actually helps when you're doing virtual presentations, when people can't really see what you're doing with your hands. So what he actually does is he grips onto the rails of his chair or the arms of his chair. I'm currently gripping onto a I guess a, a ball. I don't know what these things are. These scrunchy, these stress balls. I don't know what they are. I'm not doing it because I'm nervous. I just wanted to show an example of what you could grip onto. And he does this because he, I guess the reason he does it is it helps with kind of transferring that nervous energy to somewhere else. Because as you know, from perhaps your physics class, energy is neither created or destroyed. It's just transferred from one place to another. So you are you probably weren't expecting anything about physics today, but, but there it is. Basically, you're transferring that nervous energy to another place and you're transferring it to whatever you're gripping to. And I, I think that's a really useful useful way to, to, to get rid of those nerves or to at least minimize them, manage them. And that works for virtual presentations. For in-person, maybe not as well. It'd be kind of weird if someone saw you walking on the stage with this with a with a stress toy <laughs> and just gripping it while giving your presentation. That might be a bit distracting. But for, for virtual, as I said, they can't really tell what you're doing with your hands. So it works really well. I, again, if you want to check out that episode, it's episode 132. The third one I find is the most interesting one. And this is from episode 242 with Dr. Connie Lynn. And what she does to minimize her nerves is she wiggles her toes. I'm assuming she doesn't do this while wearing sandals. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> looking at someone giving a presentation and just seeing them wiggle their toes the damn time? <laughs> What's up with this woman? <laughs> but she says that it works really well. And she does it because it focuses her, her it, will, it helps her focus on her toe wiggling as opposed to her being nervous. And this is something that I've actually, when she, first said it I thought it sounded kind of odd but then I thought you know that actually might work so maybe for my next presentation I'll start wiggling my toes and see if that works <laughs> but those are, and I said that's episode 242 so those are three those are three methods that you could potentially try to minimize those nerves before you give a presentation although one thing I want to note about being nervous before a presentation is it likely will never go away and it shouldn't go away because all nerves are is a sign that you actually care about what you're talking about. If you're not nervous before you give a presentation, that's an indicator that you really don't care much about what you're about to say. You don't really care about the outcomes. You don't care what the people have to take away from the presentation. You don't care whether you look foolish. You, just, you, just, you don't care at all. So, so always keep that in mind. The fact that you care, or the fact that you are nervous before a presentation is a sign that you actually care about it. But those are the three that I uh, I gleaned from the number of from the many guests that I've had on my podcast. 
Lindsay says, go into a bathroom stall to collect your thoughts. Barkley says, grip something. And Dr. Connie Lynn says, wiggle your toes. <laughs> Try them out and let me know how that works. Again, my name is Neil Thompson, founder of Teach the Geek. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe the videos. And until next time, take care and stay safe.